What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Now today, I'm going to be giving you a little neon liner, bright neon liquid lip type of vibe. Now, I did this look in my June favorites, but I had that hot yellow liner and everyone was like, what the hell is that? So we're going to recreate that whole look for you guys in this video and I swapped out the yellow for this neon green. It's summertime, it's scorching out here in America and I just want to be radiating. Now you see that highlight? I used a highlighter that I've never used before on camera. So besides the highlighter, what else is going on you guys? So as you can see, my hairline is really growing out. I got to bleach some of it. I'm going to show you guys right now. So a lot of this is still my brown hair but I got to bleach some of it so I'm so excited I have my real hair back of course I will never stop wearing wigs but I am really feeling myself so if you want to see how I created all this then keep on watching Let's dive into the summer goodiness. Now, let's talk about skincare for a second. I have tried to not age for about 15 years now, and I mean, I can say I've done a pretty good job. I'm trying to like, just stay away from the sun altogether. So I know normal people leave the house and they don't hold umbrellas over their head, and they don't wear 20 layers of sunscreen, but I'm not nor normal. First, to prep the skin, I'm gonna be using the Giorgio Armani Maestro UV Primer. Now, the cool thing about this, yes, you can really read that, SPF, 50 and that is not a lie. It really does have that so I like to shake this guy and it has like a dropper And I'm just gonna put some all over my fingers I'm like hi, I'm just gonna touch the dropper and you're just gonna blend it into your skin Okay, so we have our sunscreen on now. Of course. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do a little bit more primer and I'm gonna be using the Guerlain L apostrophe O R. I never know how to pronounce this and everyone tries to read me for it so this one does have real gold flakes in it. We are going to bam a little, just a little bam on the cheeks. Now, wherever I hate my pores, I'm really gonna let that soak in and I'm gonna drag it all around. All right, face is feeling snatched. Let's dive into foundation. What the F are we gonna do today, y'all? I'm feeling a little luminous silk foundation. I mean, it's summer, hello. We're gonna shake that up. And then I think I'm gonna mix in this foundation that has SPF and this is by La Mer. This is called the Treatment Fluid Foundation and it's a little darker than my usual color so I like to mix it in and just give me a little little added warmth, a little summer glow, a little tan. We're gonna use the back of our hand and just do a little one, two, three. And then we're gonna take the La Mer and we're gonna do a little one, two, and that is enough to cover your entire face, neck, ears, chest, and mouth. Obviously, you guys know I have my Damp Beauty Blender on standby, but I think I'm gonna use the Artiste brush, and this is the Oval 8. I'm just gonna, whoop, there we go. So I'm gonna take that same brush and just kinda dot this all around. Now that is a lot of foundation, but hey, I'm going to the pool. I don't want any sun to penetrate. It's time to blend. All right, we are blended. I mean, we are blended. Now, my real face is not this dark, so my chest area is like albino. So I'm just gonna take the leftover foundation and just kinda dot it in there and try to watch my jacket. My chest is like, I've never seen the sun before, hi there. Okay, now for concealer, we're gonna do the Too Faced Born This Way, and wh what shade are we? We are very fair. Okay, but for real, this concealer is so amazing. Basically, this concealer is my new favorite. I've said it a million times since I've used it, and I'm saying it again. Let's get to blending. Now, I'm gonna be using the Oval 7. I used the 8 for my entire face. Now, we're gonna use the 7 for this concealer, and let's buff it out. All right, we are blended to perfection. I am obsessed with these guys for concealer. I'm just like, oh. Even though our face is snatched, it's time for some setting powder because we gotta make sure that none of this moves. So I'm gonna go in with my trusty Laura Mercier and my damp beauty blender, and we're gonna get to setting. Now, you guys know what I love to do, dip in. It's just gonna melt into the skin. And then for the bigger areas of my face, I'll take the end of the Beauty Blender and just kind of bounce in there and then... All right, we are all set now. Let's get to contouring. All right, now for contour today, we're gonna be using that Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in shade Medium with a little Morphe 527. Now this guy, we're just gonna give it a one, two, three on these cheeks. All right, now for that look that we're recreating from the June Favorites, I didn't do my contour all the way down in Severe. I kind of stopped it here. Normally I like to go a little sharper 
and just cut down my whole neighborhood. But today, we're just gonna softly go up and at him. Do I come already doing my forehead? Like, I'm just gonna do the left side of my face today and see what happens. And then I'm just gonna take a little Morphe brush with no pigment on it and just kinda really define it like, oh wow. And we're gonna really darken that forehead and let the doctor know that we're not playing today. Now we're gonna hit that chin and kill that jawline. Ooh, uh. Now, last but not least, to really get that fucking look down, we're gonna be using the little Artiste brush for contouring. And I'm just gonna hit that once, bam. That's really all you need. And I'm really gonna chisel the nose like severe today, where like people are gonna think I had surgery when we're done with this look, honey. Yeah. All right, now are we gonna leave the nose that crazy? Of course we're not. But we are gonna buff it out real quickly and I'm just gonna use a little damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna press up and down those lines and soften them but still keep them harsh, just not as crazy as they look right now. Now I like to stare at myself for as long as possible with a blinding highlight. So I'm gonna do my highlight right now. Right, right, right now. Now I discovered this new little Kevin Kwan highlighting brush. Look at this guy. Ooh, it's like a dome, girl. Now I'm gonna be using my Sweets Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills today. These just came out and hello summer, look at that color. This one is called a marshmallow and I'm like, oh, get on my face. So we're just gonna take this guy and we're just gonna do a little one, two. Oh, this has a lot of pigment. Thank you, Jesus. Now, this brand never lets me down. And this guy, I'm just gonna pop on my entire, oh wow, cheeks. Come on, Kevin Aquan with this brush. And I'm just gonna tuck this right here. Ooh, this is like blinding. Come on, sunshine, why see you, girl? I am loving it. We're just gonna hit that Cupid's bow right now. So while I'm talking the whole time, my mouth has uh, a little more character. Ooh. Ooh, I love this. And now, do I need to hit the nose? Just a tiny bit. So we're just gonna go back and forth on the tip of the nose. Do I need more highlight? I mean, this is Jeffrey here that we're talking about, so of course we do. So I'm gonna bring out the other new Anastasia Glow Kit, and this is in Palette Moonchild. I love that name. Now, these are like pastel with reflex. They are so pretty. So this one is called Lucky Clover, and I'm just gonna hit that one up for a second. And I'm only gonna put this in the high planes of my, <clears throat> ooh, my highlight was so severe my voice went away. The high planes of my cheeks. Now this just gives it kind of a whole otherworldly dimension, which hello, it's summer. Can we have some fun people? Now, what do we need to do? We need to get some brows on. So for brows today, what am I gonna do? Since my hair is back to being fully pink, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in shade Auburn, which is for redheads, and it kind of has like a brown, reddish tint, which I love when you have darker pink hair. And I'm gonna be using that Brow Wiz in shade Taupe. That's what I like to do to define the shape. And of course, there's no stencils involved, there's no tattoos, there's no magic. I just freehand them on and uh, let's give it a whirl. Now to make this look really dope, we're gonna be using some really stark white eyeshadow. This is from the Vizzy Art Editorial Palette. I love this, yes, I accidentally dropped this, but thank God none of the shadows cracked. I'm gonna be using a little MAC 252 brush and we are really gonna highlight under the brow. So we're just gonna drag this out and just merge that in and look at that. This is like a little full, Full drag brow today. Next step is really easy. We're just gonna take a little blending brush and another blending brush, and we're just gonna dip into the Laura Lee Violet Voss palette. Now this has really great neutrals. I love these colors, look at these colors. The look that we're gonna recreate, I basically had like a transition color coming all the way in here, cutting out my crease, and I left that blank and I did that really bright neon liner. So we're just gonna take a taupey color and we're gonna take it all the way in and cut out that lid, and then we're gonna leave this all blank for that neon liner to have its own moment. So I'm gonna be dipping into Ragamuffin right here, and we're just gonna tuck this right in here.
take this color a little more and then we're just gonna tuck it in and put a little bit on that lid just so it kind of all flows together. So I am gonna blend this out, of course. We are not leaving it like that, but I'm just gonna sketch it out on the other side as well and then we'll get to buffing and blending. And now we're gonna take this lighter shade called Mama Bird and we're just gonna dip into that. And then we are going to blend out and make this look really airbrushed. And then I'm gonna dip back into that white eyeshadow with the first brush. And I'm just gonna tuck that white right in there so it really cuts that out. Like, hi, come back. And we're just gonna leave that blank. And then the same thing for the top. We're just gonna go over and make sure it looks really blended. All right, now let's get to the neon liner. Last time I used this hot yellow, which looked so stunning. This one is called Dance Party, and I think it sold out like immediately because you guys were like, hi, I need that too. This is the hot green one. What's this one called? This one's called Fanny Pack. Hi, really cute. So these are water activated. Now, last time I used this really, really tiny brush. This is the 202 liner brush from Smith Cosmetics. I love this guy. And this is water activated. I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit of water from this. Oh, hi. If no one's tried Icelandic before, you got the wrong one. I feel like a Super Bowl commercial, but this is just my favorite water. I am just gonna pour a little bit in this cap. Now we're gonna take that liner and we're just gonna move it around. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty, I wanna scream. So I poured out some of the water, now I'm just gonna kinda move it around and then it gets really pigmented. So you're just gonna wanna take the liner brush and, ooh my god. All right, now I'm gonna bring this up a little bit and just kinda put it over our shadow. All right, the liner is done and these also come in a lot of other shades so I can't wait to get more. I know there's like a hot blue, there's like a pink and they also have like black, silver and other cool colors so Definitely gonna be getting a million of these. This is gonna be like my new staple color. I'm like, hello. What is next? Mascara. And you're probably like, what, is that it? That's all I did the other day. Now you can take something in the waterline if you wanted to add a little pop. For mascara today, I'm gonna be taking that iconic mascara from Gucci. This is my new favorite. I love the brush on this guy. It is so easy to work with. And we're just gonna coat our entire bottoms and top. All right, now for lips today, I'm gonna prep them with some lip scrub. This is my own Velour Lip Scrub in Flavor Spearmint, and I like to just take some on my fingers and just go to town. All right, lips are smooth and ready. Now today, I'm gonna be using my own Velour Liquid Lipsticks in shade Watermelon Soda, and we're gonna dab a little bit of Nude Beach in the center for some extra dimension. Of course, I am gonna leave a little bit in the center for Nude Beach, so I'm not gonna fill it in all the way. And now we're gonna take a little bit of Nude Beach and we're just gonna press it right here. And then we're gonna take a little Morphe eyeshadow brush and we're just gonna blend this in. I love how this looks. Now, of course, if you want, you can do a dot in the center on your top lip. I kind of like to just leave it on the bottom so it gives my lips that extra like, Hello, Kellos. All right, guys, so this look is pretty much done. You really don't need anything else. Of course, if you want to add on more highlight because you have really bad, crazy obsessions with highlighters, you can always dip in and just, you know, do a little bump. It's been, you know, probably like 20 minutes since we've put on, you know, the highlighter. So, of course, if you want to redo more, of course, of course you can. But besides that, I think we're gonna need a little bit of setting spray. Okay, so since it is summer, we're gonna bring out our Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist, and we're just gonna shake and shake. And I wish Nathan was here to help me with three more setting sprays, but um, let's get our engines ready, and let's get to spraying. <sighs> All right, I think this look is complete. All right, guys, this look is done. It is probably one of my quickest looks. I think taking away false lashes and tons of eyeshadow obviously saves you a lot of time. So, of course, if you want to tailor this look, do some black wing, some silver, some gold, some yellow. Any color will work. I think it's summer. It's fun. I mean, I don't even care if it's Christmas time. I just want to wear bright colors all the time. And for lips, you could really swap this out with anything. If you're afraid of bright colors, just do a straight up nude and you're still going to slay. Or just do some light gloss and call it a day. Now, one last tidbit. I will have 
four new Skin Frost highlighter shades coming out in August. So saddle up and I will see you guys on the next video. <laughs> Bye guys. Mwah. I'm holding this brush so weird. I'm like, Ugh. what's up, Grandma? Let me let me cover that, y y your little forehead, girl. Thank you. It just blends really effortlessly. <laughs> um um. So last time I used the hot. You you hear that word used? What just? Watch, I like douse it everywhere. Mm. So, oh my God! Sorry, my dildo machine.